By the end of this video, if you stick with me, you're gonna have a fully equipped Shopify store that is ready to make sales. How do I know that? Because I'm about to take you step by step, showing you exactly how to create and design a high converting, profitable online store from start to finish. So if you're serious about starting your online business with a store that is literally built to put money in your pockets, then you found the right video. All right, guys, now there's thousands of sellers joining the e-commerce industry every year. And that probably has something to do with the fact that the industry is projected to earn about $7 trillion in 2025 alone with increasing growth for years to come. And what that's basically saying is there is a lot of money and potential for every single one of you watching right now. But then comes the question above all questions. How do I stick out as a new online seller in a growing and competitive market? Well, that's where the store that is created and designed to seamlessly convert traffic into sales. And I'd be sitting here lying if I told you that the people making money with multiple online stores every day, like myself, are spending days to get new stores on the market. Even complete beginners are hopping into the market with sales-driven stores in minutes with the free tools that are available on the market. And now you can too. In the description down below, I dropped an exclusive link to my AI-powered Shopify store builder that scanned all my top performing stores and uses that data to design and build your own Shopify store in just a few steps in a matter of minutes. And the best part is, it's 100% free. But here's when it gets even better, as this isn't just any store builder. It goes a step further by automatically loading in high potential winning products with product pages built out for each one of these products, which just gives you even more of a competitive advantage. So with that being said, I'm gonna walk you through the creation of the store, but I do want you to stick around because it's more than just creation. Because once the store is created, I'm gonna show you how to fully design it, what apps you need to have to integrate on the store, and best practices that you need to know about heading into 2025. All right, so this is gonna be the first screen that you land on. And the first button you wanna go ahead and click on is build my free store. This is the next screen that you're gonna see. Here you wanna enter in your personal information. So you'll just enter in your name, your email, and a password, and then click on next. Next, this is the screen that you're gonna see where here you're gonna choose whatever niche that you wanna go ahead and associate with your store. You have fashion and apparel, pets, electronics and gadgets, home and garden, sports and fitness, or I'm not sure. And if you click on the I'm not sure button, what it's gonna do is is go ahead and choose the niche for you. And again, you could change this at any moment later. So I'm gonna do fashion and apparel as an example. Next, we're gonna go ahead and click on update. Here, we're gonna go ahead and choose the banners that we want on our homepage. This is gonna allow you to select two out of the six banner options. And remember, you have full ownership as this store is yours. So once it's published, you can change this out to whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and select these two and then click on next. Now you need to create your Shopify account that is associated with the store. So you wanna come down and click on access Shopify. Next is gonna take you to this screen where you're gonna get an exclusive discount with Shopify that you cannot find anywhere else. This is is gonna give you a three day free trial plus your first month only costing you one single dollar. So go ahead and enter your email again and click on start free trial. And now it's gonna probe you to answer a bunch of different questions. Now you can answer these if you want. If not, go ahead and click on skip all. Put where your business is located. And then now after entering all that information, this should be the screen you see right here where it says building your store. Right after accessing Shopify, go ahead and click on done. Now you need to link your Shopify store to the AI store builder. So on the screen right here, you're gonna go ahead and click on access Shopify. Copy this link in the browser. Come back over here to the store builder paste it and then click on save and then done. Now we need to access Shopify again. Come down over here to settings, go to plan, click on choose plan, basic, enter in all your information right here and then go ahead and click on subscribe. Come back to the AI store builder and click on done. Now you need to install the build your store app. So click on install app. It's gonna redirect you to the screen right here and then go ahead and click on install. And now you wanna make your store unique. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and click on customize your store. And now you're gonna let the AI do its magic. As you see, it's customizing the store currently. Now, this is not just gonna build you a high converting Shopify store in only a couple minutes, but it's also gonna add winning products and product pages built out for every one of those products already loaded to your store. To get access to this, this is gonna be the next screen that you see. And you should see it say add top selling products. So you wanna come over here and click on register to auto DS. And then once you're done registering, go ahead and click on done. The next screen is gonna give you an amazing offer with TikTok. It's basically just free cash. As you can see, it says spend 300, get 600, spend 600, get 1200, and so on and so forth. Basically giving you free ad spend. So once you do have this AI store builder and the products loaded, you can already take off right away with your ads. So click on get free ad credits and then follow all those instructions and click on done. Now we need to access Shopify to publish a store. It's gonna redirect us to the screen right here. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and take this check mark off and go ahead and click on save. Come back to the AI store builder and click on done. And now your Shopify store is officially live. Now you just saw in real time the amount of effort that just took, not much at all. And now I have an entire Shopify store ready to start selling on and it's gonna be the same simple process for you. It really just did about 90% of the work for you. And I'm not gonna lie, it does not look too bad. You already have the homepage completely finished with winning products already added. As you see, it has a nice elegant banner, very simple clean color scheme, collections of products added, down to multiple different reviews to increase the customer engagement. And then finally at the bottom, you're gonna see the footer where you're gonna see all your policies 
policy page is already finished. For example, if I click on shipping policy, it's already done. Return policy, it's already done. So literally within only a couple minutes, this store is completely built out for us. Saving so much time and money that you can use in other areas to continue to keep growing your business. And like I said to you guys earlier, you have full ownership. This is your store, so you can make it whatever way that you want. I mean, we have the homepage completely created and we even have the product pages already listed out with descriptions and images for the products added in. But now it's time to take the store to another level and make sure that when customers do come in, they don't leave without buying. But before I head into that, I'm giving out a giveaway today. And I wanna give one of you the opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one help on a free coaching call with myself and my team, who've taken students in your same position like Michael, from no sales at all, to over a million dollars in revenue in just nine months. And just to sweeten the deal, on top of that exclusive call, I will also give out a story that I've been building out to one of you to streamline your success even more. If you want the opportunity of winning this giveaway, all you have to do is smash that like button and in the comment section, comment the word Shopify with your biggest takeaway and come back to my next drop to see if you want. All right, so when it comes to optimizing your homepage for customers, there are a few things that you need to focus on. The first is creating a welcoming experience that instantly engages visitors. Secondly, building trust by making your store feel reliable and inviting so customers feel confident making a purchase. And third and most importantly, guiding them back to the product that you're looking to sell and scale. When you start running ads for your product across Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, you will not be directing customers with a buy now link to the homepage. You'll actually be directing them right to the product page. But for some reason, if a customer starts looking around on your store, you do wanna make sure that your homepage is complete and it encourages them to head back to what they originally came for. Now, like I said, the store builder, it already did a lot of the work for us. So we're just gonna come in here and optimize it just a little bit more. So if you wanna edit your homepage, the first thing you're gonna do is come down over here and click on online store. Then click on customize. Now this is where you're gonna be able to edit and customize anything that you want. Let's say we wanna change the colors. To do that, you're gonna hit on theme settings, click on colors. Now with all my stores, I do recommend only using three colors max black white and one accent color so keeping that same color format as our main focus we're gonna go ahead and change one of these colors real quick and that's gonna be the third complementary color which is peach since that's the main color in scheme six I'm gonna go ahead and click on it click on background and you see I can just drag this color bar up and down to whatever color that I want to choose I'll go with this color right here for example and outside of colors you can also edit any of the text images and banners on your home page as well let's say you want to change this announcement bar you'll come back over here to the sections Click on announcement bar, click on the verbiage. You see it's set at free shipping right now. And I can say something like this instead, free worldwide shipping, holiday sale. Utilizing the holidays and the seasons to your advantage, this is what customers are so used to seeing and you wanna be replicating the same exact thing. Now, just as easy as it is to change your text, you can also change the images too. Right under the announcement bar and the header, the first thing you're gonna see is a slideshow. And inside of the slideshow, it's gonna have multiple different images that you can work with or replace with others. Let's say I wanna change this one out first. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And if you wanna change that image out and you don't have have one to replace with, you can go to this website called Pixels. Pixels is a website that's gonna give you free stock high quality images that you can integrate all across your store. Winter's coming up for an example, so let's say that we wanted to use this as one of our photos. And look at all these images that are available for us. Let's say I wanna download this one right here. Now after downloading, I can come over here and click on change remove image, select image, click on add image, and then go ahead and add that image that you just downloaded. And it's as simple as that to upload it to your store. Let's say you wanna add a section to this homepage. For example, a mission statement. What you're gonna do is come down over here to the left-hand side and click on add section. We're gonna go ahead and click on rich text. And I typically like putting my mission statement right under my top banner. After inputting a heading and a quick statement, I now have a mission statement built out. Typically right under my mission statement, I like to have a collection of products. And you see they already did the hard work for us, already adding the collection right away. Then right under that collection, of products, I like to add in a main feature product. So to do that, you wanna come down over here and click on add section, feature product. I drag it right under the rich text. And then I wanna go ahead and click inside and click on select product. And whatever main product that you're selling, this is the feature product that you want on your main page. That's because 95% of your traffic is gonna to go to the product page of the product that you're seeing. And they're either gonna buy or they're gonna leave. And 5% of your traffic is gonna do that extra work. They're gonna browse around on your homepage and look around. So you wanna make sure that the main feature product that you're selling that they came for in the first place is easily able to be found right on the homepage. Now, right under the featured product, I like to have the testimonial section like we talked about earlier. Now, the only thing that I like doing different here than what they give already is just adding some images of real people. So to do that, I'm gonna come back over here to Pixels and I'm gonna type in man smiling and women smiling and use that as my main avatars. So I'll take this one, for example, and these two as well. Now, coming back to the testimonial section, I'm just gonna go ahead and input all those images. So click on select image add image, and then just start uploading and do the same across the board. Now, after adding all the images, I like to come back to the testimonial section, click on theme settings, and then uncheck reveal sections on scroll. That way it doesn't take up too much space and they're all stacked left and right from each other. Once I'm done with all that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Now the homepage is done, it's looking good, and it's ready for customers to start shopping all in just a couple of minutes. It's looking clean, professional, showcasing there's a live sale happening, great color scheme so it's not too distracting, right away understanding what the deal and offers that you're offering. From the 
announcement bar to the color scheme to a high quality banner down to the mission statement, our collection of products, our main feature product, our updated testimonials down to our footer. Now that that's complete, let's go ahead and dive into the most important page, which is your product page. Where like I told you earlier, around 95% of your customers are going to land. Now this page is crucial. I mean, it's really majority of your success because it's here that you'll have to convince them to buy. And the key to this is highlighting your product's features and benefits in a way that grabs attention while making the purchasing process as seamless as possible. Now, as you can see, this is the preloaded product page that was given and a bunch of different images, but this is not the layout that we typically work with. Now, as you can see, the product page already has a description, but I want you to ask yourself, is this the kind of description that would make me wanna buy something while shopping online? Probably not. There's just way too much text, no clear breakdown of the product's key benefits, and worst of all, there's no social proof to reassure you that you would actually wanna buy this product. All right, so first things first, if you wanna edit your product page, come over here to products. Find the product that's listed. Now, typically what most people will tell you to do is to edit the product page right here, but I like to customize it and make it stand out even more. So I actually don't edit the product page here at all. I do it on the online store settings the same way I kinda do it on the homepage. And I'll show you that here in a second, but the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is delete all of this. Now, after deleting everything in here, let me show you how to edit it the right way. Come back over here to online store, go to customize, and the top section where it says homepage, click on the drop down bar, click on products, and then click on create template. And then just go ahead and name this after the product that we're creating this for. Then click on create template. Now come over here and click on change in the preview section, click on your product, and you should be seeing the main product page of the product that you're trying to test right here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is change the colors of this page. I never have a great background on any of my product pages. So I clicked on the background, and as you can see, it says color scheme, scheme two. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on change. And I went ahead and changed it to a different scheme, which was scheme one that was just focused on having a white background. Background. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and keep building this thing out. Now to start things off, under the title, I do like giving a small description of why somebody should be buying the product. Now you have to understand in today's time that people are lazy. So if I only have a few seconds with this customer and they're not gonna read the full description, I'm gonna give a quick summary at the very top of my page. To do this, you wanna come over here and click on add block, click on text, and then drag this right under the price. And now I'm gonna go ahead and write out three to four main points on why someone should be buying this product and what problem it solves. And for every single point that I'm adding, I do need to add in a new text block. So now now that I'm done with the first text point, I'm gonna go ahead and click on another block and add another text point. And then just following that same pattern for point three and four. And it should look a little bit something like this when you're done. Now, right after those quick summary points, the next step is to get into the product description. So as of right now, we actually don't have a product description because we just deleted everything that was inside the product section. So to start this off on the left-hand side, you wanna come down to the bottom and click on add section. And you wanna go ahead and click on multi-row. After clicking on multi-row, go ahead and put this right under the product pricing. Now, each one of these rows are gonna be a different feature and benefit of the product and what it can do to enhance a customer's everyday life. So let's go ahead and click on the first row. Now with the first heading, I always open up the entire product description with a problem solving opening statement. Something like instant warmth in any weather, any time. And then I follow up with that header with a corresponding description of how my product is gonna solve that problem. Something like our heating jacket is built to keep you warm with ease. It's featuring nine heating zones that target key areas like your neck, belly, and back, just further enhancing my problem solving statement and how my product is going to solve that. Now, as you see inside the description, I did bold keyword words that I wanted to be highlighted. You always wanna make sure you're doing the same so you're grabbing the customer's attention into what is the most important. Now, right after finishing that opening statement, I like to follow this up with a corresponding GIF, just further showing what I'm putting in text. So now I have a GIF that's saying, beat the cold this winter with this heated vest and then explaining exactly how in the right side with the product description. Now, right after finishing the opening statement, highlighting the problem and giving the solution with your product, the next thing you're gonna do is get into your features and benefits. So I'm gonna click back here on the row and now I'm just gonna go to the second row, take out the caption and if our heading, we're gonna go ahead and enter in our first feature and benefit. So this first feature and benefit is saying, defy the elements with confidence. And inside the text is basically just saying that this product is unstoppable because it's waterproof. So what type of image do you think I'm gonna add next? One that is showing that it is waterproof. So I'm gonna come back up to the top, select image, add image, and then add in my second image right away, showcasing exactly what I'm trying to put in text. Now you have to understand that there's gonna be two types of buyers that come to your store, a reading buyer and a visual buyer. And you need to be appealing to both types of people. And doing it in this type of format is doing just that. Now let's keep moving to the next one. And you see, I'm just gonna continue to keep following that format the entire way down. And as you see, I do split it up between GIFs and images. I don't just use one or another. Now, right after finishing that, you wanna go ahead and do three things. The first is come to the top right section and go ahead and click on save. Next, you wanna come back over here to products, find your product, and right here where it says theme template, hit the drop down, and then go ahead and select the template that you just created. And then go ahead and click on save. And the last thing I do with all my products is ensure that I give it a customized name. Doing this for two reasons, for SEO purposes and allowing me to stand out for my 
my competitors. Once I've named the product and I've added the template, you wanna come back over here and click on save. Now that the product page is fully updated, you can immediately see the difference. Compared to what we started with, this new version is much cleaner, easier to read, and gives your customers all the essential information needed to help persuade them to make that purchase that you're looking for. Now that we've covered the essentials, it's time to focus on maximizing the customer's experience and identifying any roadblocks that might be keeping them from making a purchase. And the tool that makes this happen, it's called Vitals, which is an all-in-one app loaded with tools that are gonna help you make that sale every time. In my opinion, it's an absolute must-have for your Shopify store. That's why I dropped a link in the description where you can try it out with a free trial, plus 10% off your first month. But enough talking about it, let me go ahead and show you some of the tools that you're gonna wanna have integrated on your store through the app. The first is a currency converter. If you're selling internationally, which I tell everybody to do to sell towards the top five countries, United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, then this app is a game changer as it automatically adjusts your price based off of the customer's location, showing them the currency that they're familiar with. This ultimately creates a smoother shopping experience and helps boost conversions because your customers don't have to stop and do the math themselves. Trust me when I say this, if you make them work for it, they'll bounce and look for an easier option elsewhere. Second is sticky add to cart. So like I said, even if they scroll past the initial buy button, it stays accessible making it easier for them to add the items to their cart without hunting for it. The less friction that you can create in the checkout process, the better. Next is bundle discount apps. And there are two apps I always recommend to help you boost your AOV or average order value. The first is discount quantity break. This app gives customers a discount when they go and buy more of a product, which increases bulk purchases, ultimately increasing your overall sales. And the second is frequently bought together. This app allows you to pair complimentary products together so customers can buy multiple items that make sense as a bundle. For example, with the product that I just created the store for, I could upsell the heated vest with heated gloves and an ice scraper because we all know that they're complimentary in the winter time. And bundling them all together and giving a small discount, this is gonna also incentivize the customer to come buy more from you. And the last and probably one of the most important is the review apps. As we all know that reviews are crucial in helping customers feel secure in the decision to purchase. So do not skip this one. I mean, I'm asking you right now, would you ever buy something if you didn't see reviews? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if the answer is no, which a majority probably is, then you need that app on your store. And if the answer is no for you, it's gonna be a no for a lot of other people too. And you wanna make sure that you're using reviews that are detailed and show the different ways that customers are using the product for maximum effectiveness. But one additional tool that each of you need to know about that Vitals provides is their visitor replay. With the visitor replay, you'll be able to see who's visiting your store, where they're from, how long they're staying, and even watch video recordings of their exact activity. This means that you can track what customers are focusing on, what they're clicking into, and most importantly, what's causing them to leave without making a purchase. For example, you'll be able to see if customers are leaving after viewing bad reviews, low quality images, or adding items to their cart, but abandoning them before checkout. Knowing this can help you pinpoint exactly where improvements need to be made. It's literally gonna give you a real-time understanding of what's working on your store and what's driving customers away allowing you to optimize every part of the shopping experience. Now, let's say you're watching your visitor replays and you notice that you're missing out on a lot of sales from people abandoning the items in their cart. Well, you can retarget them through email and SMS marketing, which I just dropped an entire video about right here. And I'm telling you, after watching this video right now, you're gonna wanna check that out right after. Customers have already shown interest in your product by coming to your store in the first place and adding the product to their cart and even initiating checkout. And after doing all that hard work as an advertiser, you don't wanna lose that on the sale because that person got distracted or forgot what they were doing in the first place. While shopping all the time, people get busy, they get distracted, this is very normal. But it's your job as the online advertiser to never miss out on a sale. So I've been trying to tell you, this is a game-changing app that could significantly boost your sales within just days of putting it to use. Now that your store is built and optimized for selling and you've watched a video I tag to get your email and SMS campaign set up, you are officially ahead of the curve. You now position yourself to create high converting stores and start generating sales before 2025 even hits, which is said to be an even bigger year for e-commerce than 2024. But here's the truth. I know what you guys see online about dropshipping, but this isn't a get rich quick scheme. To really get your store off the ground and scale, it takes consistency, effort, and a commitment to constantly improving. As the people who are making real moves in the space are the ones who show up day in and day out to keep leveling up their businesses. Even with my students like Asian A, who was doing Uber Eats before dropshipping, came in with no experience and no sales to scaling over $45,000 in 45 days. And the main reason she accomplished this is because she showed up every single day, put in consistent effort and was learning from a proven system. So if you're ready to stop second guessing your potential and start taking real action, this is your chance. Trust me, the worst thing that you can do is look back and wish that you got started. So if you're ready to streamline your success and learn from a proven system that has not just helped students like Age Nay, but thousands of other students hit life-changing results, 
then you're in the right place. All you need to do is hit the link down in my description to learn more about the limited spots I have available in my tailored one-on-one -on -one mentorship so we can go ahead and get to work. It is better to take that leap now than to spend another year wondering, what if? Let's build something great together and continue to keep creating this generational wealth. And hey, don't forget to show some love and take advantage of that giveaway in the comment section down below. This is AC with Supreme Ecom, and I'm out.